In this video, we'll review the process of cloth seaming a cargo pant for a human character in 5 minutes. This tutorial is sponsored by these amazing Patreons. You can check out the public posts and follow me on patreon.com slash 3 dcinetv for more information. March's reward will be this cat warrior girl fully completed. Let's build cargo pants quickly. Go to Pinterest, search for Marvelous Designer Cargo Pants. The basic principle is that we're going to select a simple enough design to join or stitch together, okay? So we're going to explore how the, the cut lines or the seam lines are joined together in this scheme. So bring it into Blender by importing images as planes. And now try to uh, locate the scale around your model with the image. From there, you can start creating a grid, subdividing it using proportional tool and start moving and adjusting all the vertices until you get a pattern exactly like the one that we got here. The important thing is that you design all of this in 2D. So now we're going to press fill the faces and you can see that slight color change and that means that all of the faces are filled uh, with polygons, with actual polygons, because that's what we want. In case that you get this error, you should check your normals, first of all, and then your face orientation. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to click here, and as you can see, everything just lights up. So we're going to press X and then delete the faces, every face, because we got double faces here. So that's what we're going to do on the other side as well. Now, this is how you really want to have your meshes. One-sided polygons so that you can uh, do the plot simulation appropriately. So, again, we're going to check the normals. Make sure that we are facing outwards always, okay? Away from the model. So, I am going to press Alt-N and then flip normals. Now, we're going to check here if the normals are aligned outside the model. And this is exactly what we want. Now we want to project the UV projection, so we're going to select every vertices, then press U to unwrap, and then project from view. Of course, we are on the front view, and that will ensure you that you're going to get a perfectly flat design projected for the UVs, for the UV mapping. Now we're going to go back again to the edit mode, because this is the important part. This is where we actually are going to start sewing the cloth. But first of all, let's flip the faces again, because like I mentioned before, we need to make sure that all of the vertices or normal faces are facing away from the model, okay? So we're going to select the first one and then control left mouse click to select the shortest path between one and another. And then I'm going to press shift left mouse click and then control uh, left mouse click to do this kind of selection. Activate the add-on that will help you to do this. You can put pause in the video and then read the description. Now we're going to press X to delete only the faces because we want to preserve the edges, okay? This is the important part. We need to have edges connecting um, um, each vertices all by themselves, not any face, not any face at all. So we want to do some more stitching from these cloth pieces and of course we need to sew the front part of the leg against the back part of the leg. We are also going to um, locate this over here as close as it can so that when we simulate the cloth it will work. So the first thing we want to do is to put the body collisions activated like such. And then we're going to activate the clot simulation by using the clot uh, modifier property that we have right here. And all these parameters will work for your fabric. Now, let's make sure that you're on frame number one, and then you can press play to start simulating. The clot simulation is very fast in Blender 2.9, and it's uh, got properties for elasticity, friction, and damping, and any other of the parameters that you would probably need when you're simulating cloth. Let's check this parameter that we have right here, which is called shape. And under shape, we have sewing. Please make sure that you check this active so that when you cloth simulate, this is going to be the first thing that it's going to trigger the cloth simulation. And also collisions are very important and therefore we want to change that. Now the distance to collision that is from the colliding body against the actual clot is going to be measured in units and one unit it's subdivided into nine individual distances. So therefore if you press play now you're going to get all this mess. Why? Because the model is very small as you can see right now. It doesn't even cover half of a 0.1 unit. 
So that's a problem. Even in the case that you manage to go to work around that, you're still going to have these kind of problems where the mesh cannot be fully embraced by the cloth. And you might spend a lot of time trying to figure out why collision 0.01 away from the body is not working. Also, we need to fix this uh, section of the pant, which basically will tighten up the waist. Okay, this is important. This is the front part of the of the mesh for the cloth simulation and also the back. So now let's select everything and now we want to scale it. And just in case that you happen so to select it and scale it like this and it doesn't, uh, you know, uh, grow together, just switch this parameter right here so that you can have an individual points in the global scale. So now reposition your model, select your model and then apply scale and also apply the scale with control A and then select scale. So that always reads one. And from there on, we can surely now push play and make sure that the collisions will work accordingly. Look at that. This is just marvelous. It worked right away. Perfect. Now let's switch the, uh, the viewing method. Sorry. And now you will see that also you get this kind of a C buffer fighting lines. So the way to fix that all around the model is by coming here into the view tab right here in the viewport and then changing the clip start um, amount so you can press shift and then slide it to the left or to the right until you get this pretty much clear and that's it that's the basics of how you make uh, a cargo pad with basic design onto a character of course we're going to talk about Ghislaine, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry I'm wrecking the, the name and patrons are going to get this fully completed file with stylized shading and textures. And of course, if you don't want to miss this reward, you might consider becoming a patron to get this and previous month's benefits. Thank you very much for your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Active Motion Pictures channel. And if you have any other questions, please make them in the comment section below.